Hey, my name's Chris, and I am going to show you how to take a high-tech HS311 servo, make it so that it rotates indefinitely, instead of being a servo with a limited uh, amount of range. So this is one I picked up from Great Hobbies today. It's a very inexpensive uh, servo, less than $20, and it's a respectable speed. This is running off a of USB, so it's running off 5 volt, and running off uh, just a, a servo tester here. So, um, yeah, let's get started. All right, we'll get this thing unpackaged here. Um, comes with a bunch of servo horns and some hardware. We're not gonna need that, so. All right, there's two things that we need to do here. Um, one, we need to file down the potentiometer um, key, and we need to file down the uh, stopper key on the output shaft. And so we're just going to take the servo horn off, get the servo apart. It just comes apart with uh, five screws. There we go. Servo horn is off and then it's just these um, four long screws in the bottom here. Okay, once those screws are all loose, we should be able to pop off the bottom and we can see our IC board there. So we just take the lid off here and we'll try and get all the gears to come out at the same time so they're in, not in the right order. Perfect, there we are. So we can see the output gear there that we'll have to deal with later. We're going to deal with um, this gear here. We'll just get it off there so it doesn't get dirty. There we go. Okay. So now some people might want to disassemble this and get the entire IC board and the motor all out of there so they can make it a little smaller for projects. Um, and to do that, you want to put a little screwdriver in on the motor shaft there and just pry it down. And so that should wiggle out of there. And then you can see the, the wire leads that go up to the potentiometer that we're going to deal with inside the case. All right. And again, you just stick your screwdriver right in there and pop it down. There you go. And this should just wiggle out. Because I'm still going to use this inside the servo case, I have to deal with this potentiometer. So what I'm going to do is just clip the majority of the material off and then just file it down using a file so it's flush with where the output shaft um, gear will sit. So we'll just file this down. And once it's filed down, it should be flush, we're going to hit it with some glue just to keep it from moving around. So neutral will always be neutral. I'm just going to push it in there and then clean up the glue around. Because the output gear still sits on top of this, this has to be fairly clean. That should do for this video. Okay, now we'll deal with the output shaft gear. We have to remove the stopper on it. And that's the stopper right there. So this gets stopped inside the top case on these two points here, which are 60 degrees away from neutral. We're gonna grab these side cutters and just again, take most of the material off using the side cutters and then clean it up with a file. And you could use a Dremel for both the potentiometer and the gear. You want to do a pretty good job cleaning this up because if there's any material left, it'll bind the gear a little bit. And if there's any material in between the teeth, it will too. So that's what it looks like after I've cleaned it up. It's smooth all the way around. And we'll put the gears back together here. Take a look to see how it goes together. Okay. We'll put the top case back on with this uh, plastic bushing and the top case. We'll put that back on. Put the four screws back in. And we're good. So there it is. Um, if you have any binding, just take it apart and file down that stopper a little more on the output shaft gear. Um, you can see it binds a little bit on mine. You can hear it too. But um, yeah, uh, pretty straightforward, pretty easy modification of this servo and 
hopefully you can find a, a use for um, a servo that uh, rotates forever.